get get start na. Okay guys, nice to be back. Any moment moment from now we will be starting our topic discussion. And this is all in regards to uh, oh my god. I shipboard familiarization of emergency so for Monday the schedule will be section Delta okay I will view first the list of attendance of section Delta my god D Safety. Okay, I got it. My God. Ooh. Good life, Black Class. Mini is a nice computer. Mo. And then, let us see. Kung sino tandaan ko ni ma. Magilala ko de. Natunduan ko. If my memory serves me well, I can remember those. Kusi. Di La Cruz. Hoy, ari galing bisplain ko, Joseph Muraka. Oh. Joshua Teo Dominguez. Baha, damo mo kulit kilala niya. Merto. Makabani. Eh. Baha, oh, idol. Ayos, ari si idol. Titi ka lang. So... The previous video which we have discussed was all about the station bill. I will be refreshing you for this day of so that you will not be forgetting that one. Okay? So on my part, if you remember the previous video, uh, it was so compelling for me to first start first with the station bill that is in accordance to what we have what I have gained and what I have experienced on board the ship. Uh, the safety familiarization first before the identification of emergency. So to begin with, start based on the book. According to the book, the topic is uh, familiar, familiarization of shipboard emergency along with its corresponding alarms. So the basis for this is Solace Convention, Safety of Lives at Sea, Regulation 19. Okay. All these shipboard emergency are been derived. So the book was given to me, was supplied to me. Uh, we are quite sure na hindi niya pinalagpat because all those topic was been derived from the regulation IMO. IMO stands for International Maritime Organization, SOLAS Convention, STCW, Safety Life of Sea, Regulation 19, Reporting Station, okay. I will start with the number one shipboard emergency, which I ran first, but they are not in order. It could be the other one or it could be fire. But based on the statistic class, ang nagapamatay ka dyan, ang nagapanglunod dyan sa barko, is, is not the sinking of the vessel, it's not on the stability of the ship, but fire. Do you remember that in my previous video, uh, we have, I have discussed that fire is the number one. Uh, emergency which always happen on board statistic shows that you know why because our ships no ang barko naton 
is carrying enough load of fuel, flammable fuel, ang ibang harmful, ang ibang toxic pa sa health, marine environment, kag sa environment in, in, in the overall aspect, because in the shipping industry, ba ko na mo damo, barko sa kalibutan, na nagamiyay, pinarik-parik lang wala, kundi hindi in lang traffic, Siling mo kisa, you will ever wonder why nga. Ang muna nakalapad sa dagat. Gabi nung guanay pa. It is because of the volume of the ship. If you happen to be on board a certain vessel in the port of Taiwan, Kaohsiung, Taiwan, South Korea, Singapore, as so grabe, the world's most heavy traffic port. Ang muna gina pang mention ko. Habi mo doon mga isla lang tanan, but you are already surrounded by by ships. They are just only about 500 meters. So, considering the size of that vessel, that 500 meters, doon ka lapit-lapit ng ilan ng taon. The distance, if you will be measuring that, or based on the radar measurement, the distance, is 500 meters but the size is so gigantic makita mo ng tao so kalapit kayo that is the minimum passing distance from vessel to vessel ship to ship okay we shall be proceeding with fire uh, number one that may happen on board is fire it is because that the ship is carrying enough heat enough fuel, and very sufficient oxygen. Yes, it is quite comparable to a floating time bomb. Ang tanan niya mga barko, ang galinutaw, lutaw, dira, they have the capacity to explode at any given moment in time. Kung wala sa safety ang nagahandol sina, ang nagaman sina, that is why we are trying to emphasize in this subject matter the maritime safety so that we can avoid this kind of emergency huh? avoidance prevention huh? is the topmost priority hindi iya ang magcombat ka sa emergency nga ara na nag-exist sa barko mo but it is it is a practice that we are doing it patulad na we are having a drill fire drill that is a every week fire drill every week abandoned ship drill may weekly drill kita kala sa barko. And it's not just only one. Or this week, amo naman eh, fire drill naman. This week, abandoned ship drill naman ka Goyle Spill. This week, amo naman eh. But always, kinapractice, kinapirmi ang firefighting drill kag abandoned ship drill. If everything goes, goes from worse to worse, you will be abandoning the ship. Okay? If you can no longer... Uh, extinguish the fire, we will proceed to abandoning the ship. That is why these two, somehow, they are interconnected with each other. So we'll start with fire, your duties and responsibilities of the fire. Before anything else, when you heard the fire alarm, the fire alarm is specifically rapid ringing of ship's bells for a period of 10 seconds or more. Ring, ring. Amun ang pamatihan mo. So, karon, in order to avoid confusion, no, after the fire alarm is raised, usually, sa practice ng mo sa barko, after the specific alarm is being uh, is being raised, is being activated, kaya automatic na mo fire. Hindi ka na naya siyang una yung barko. Yan, pagsiling mo Fire, rapid succession of ship's bell for a period of 10 seconds. Ikaw na yung mapindot-pindot man. Wala yung kiring, kiring, kiring. Unlike sa subong, automatic na. Tak, isa lang ka push button. Ma-activate na dahil ng fire alarm. Wala na siyang di manumano. General alarm, siya unay ka pag amuha mo na. May push button to nga. Pag push button mo, I don't know si Ban. Or if amuha na sila ka-braided. So, my last engagement sa barko, automatic na mga push button for fire, for general, 
excuse me for general alarm. So when this alarm will start, so as to avoid confusion of each individual crew, the general alarm will be will follow after that fire. So the fire alarm is consists of rapid ringing of ship's bell. Do I put it masula tau? Are are are. Alarm. Rapid ringing of ship's bell for a period of ten seconds or more. So, just as I have explained to you about the fire alarm, no, uh, that is how it sounds. Rapid ringing of ship's bell for a period of ten seconds or more, so as to avoid the confusion of the each individual crew. It is because plus. There are crew, no? There are crew who might be sleeping in their cabin, and they have just only heard the last three seconds, last two seconds, or last one second. Sila hindi siya nakabuktao. Ano matabo? Confusion. So as to avoid confusion, the general alarm will be activated. Push the button for the general alarm, and what is the general alarm? General alarm will be employed so as to avoid confusion. Seven short blasts followed by one long blast, and after that, it will be announced by the master. Seven short blasts and one long blast. Ring, ring, ring. Seven, ah, seven short, lip out, and one long blast followed by one long blast. And followed by the verbal announcement of the master. For example, this is fire. Let's say I am the master of the vessel. Some crew are sleeping. Half of the crew are taking the rest inside their cabin. They were not able to distinguish what is the alarm, but in reality, it is a fire alarm. But since they are tired, they were not able to wake up at the very moment that this alarm has been activated. The general alarm will follow, and after that, the verbal announcement of the master of the vessel or his deputy in charge, and it goes like this, in this manner. Attention, all crew! Attention, all crew! Attention, all crew! This is your master speaking. This is your master speaking. All crew, proceed to master station. All crew, proceed to master station with life jacket and PPEs. Attention all crew, attention all crew. All crew must proceed to the master station with life jacket and PPEs. So the master will deliver the verbal announcement with the command of all crew must proceed to the master station with life jacket and additional PPEs as it is being required. Ha? Na nag-alive jacket pa ta sa kwan? Sa, sa general alarm? Of course, kay wala pa nakabalo ang the rest of the crew sa inang senaryo kay sunog ato, ang first example ko di sunog, ang wala yan nakabalo nga crew, ang muti sila masimbol. Kag usually nag-atabo class, as it is always planned, nga in reality, hindi mo nagari masunod na, My God. So, ang wala yan nga nakabalo, nga crew, bago lang mong tao, duga grugi-grugi pa, kagtuto sa may mga live jacket na sa, sila na to, ang mag-account, mag-report, there will be an accounting of men. Okay, sino da ang nag-incharge sa accounting? Chief Med, account your men. O, amuni, 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 amuni. O, si Makabani, ari di. O si Chip Cook tadi, Yusuf Muraka, ready? O nga, doon di nga nga Maestro Amo, si Lagan Suwa, ready man di? Present kami di, Tanan, sir? O Pilato ang nagapakigbato na sa kalayo? Ang nagapakigbato to sa kalayo, sir, may araw na to sila, sir, nga lang. Five person in the name of AB, amo na, i-mention nyo na, i-mention nyo na, i-mention nyo na. Tapos, Once the account is wrong, okay, Chief, very well. Please prepare your men to combat the fire. Now, okay, I'm going to set the last line to Chief Mate. May plano na. 
Nga ikaw lang ang suwa. Suksukon mong fireman's outfit. Bulos ka to sa kwanda yun. Sa first party nga nag... Nga nag... First attacking party. Ikaw mabulos kinaka fireman's outfit ka. O ikaw naman niya, Yusip... Yusip Murak, ha? Diretso ka to. Hindi ka magapit sa refrigerator, ha? Diretso ka to. You assist uh, lagang suwa. And how about you, makaban, eh? You do the cooling. Mga, mga amusin na ka mga order. Boundary cooling. Boundary cooling class is being done so as not to further out spread the fire. No? You, you, you are limiting it. Amuna siya. For example, sa adjacent space, ang room 21 ng classroom kami, amunang nagkakalayo. So as not to increase the damage of the fire, ang 20, 21 ako mo, di ba? Ang 20, 21 ang muna nagkakalayo, tapos ang room 22, ginagabang the recooling ka na. Ginabasa mo na sa katubig para ang fire malimit sa sa 21 lang. Okay, butang tang 21 do irreversible ng effect, do nothing to save more. So, unahon mo na lang da, ang palibot ya, until such time na, na pull off mo na ang iya boundary, <coughs> excuse me, na pull off mo na ang iya boundary, and then you start fighting off the fire. Okay? That is how it is planned. But I don't know in a reality, ah, attack and attack, And it happens to me. Huh? It happens to me. Remember my first discussion about fire? How I combat fire? Alone? My God. Kita ka mo sa kalayo nga dugad ako. Nag-interviews naman. But according to the book, the planner of this book was in his right state of mind. The total absence of fear. So, total absence of fear mo, maka... You, You have the ability to decide what is correct, precise, and comprehensive. Okay? If you have thought, but in reality, I don't know. <coughs> in reality, if you can achieve 50% of what is the book is telling us to do, that is already very good. And the rest of the 30, 50%, I don't know. I don't know if it is good or not good, but I hope all actions that you will be doing outside the book will be helpful. It is because in accordance with the rules, this is what we do, but with this is what we do. We have our duties, with our, we have our responsibilities. Huh? Each one of us has his duties and responsibilities in any different emergency scenario. But, class, you must remember, we are not limited by this duties and responsibility. We can do further more than that. Okay? Or we can do lesser than that. As long as our objective is being rich. Okay? For example, I will give you one story. Ang duty ko, every emergency, ito yung kakaladlawan, yun yung duty ako sa barco. One of my engagement, the name of the vessel was Gun Vision, such a very good ship, about 26,000 gross tons, handy size, uh, five holes and four cranes. So, in each and every emergency, my duty as a boson, no, no, I was OS, uh, maybe AB, I don't know, I remember, yes, AB, in every different emergency situation, whether it could be fire, Could be abandoned ship, could be man overboard, or could be oil spill, or could be machinery steering gear failure. I will go up to the bridge and steer. I will be the helmsman. Very good. Fire, I will be the helmsman. Abandoned ship, helmsman again. Oil spill, helmsman again. Oh, masi mag question ka mo. Fire, may helmsman pa again? Yeah, that is... That is a very good question, no? Nga may sunog ng barko, matimun ka pa yung muya. O for example, ara sa pwertong barko, masunog, matimun ka pa yun. 
Okay, that is what the station bill is telling you to do. Di ba? But, that's what I am telling you, that the station bill, duties and responsibility listed for our, for our uh, duties, no? For example, ma, my name, ma, uh, for example, sila Gansuwa, si Tiyo, ang duty niya, uh, Uh, prepare life uh, life saving equipment and fire hose imuning ang fire, ang iyan na duty oops excuse me bag, bag. so <clears throat> ekaron sila gan so uh, during the time of his watch nag fire patrol sa nag watch siya sa deck nakita ito yung may kalayo kaya ang duty ma prepare pa ma prepare pa sa muni Do you think what is the best action to do in order to to eradicate this fire, to extinguish this fire? Lumayo lang naman, lumamugi siya, kataas pa lang ang layo, kaya ang kaya yun eh. Oo. Diba? Uh, kung ang taas guro sa kalayo, guro kang do SM lang ako, hindi na guro kaya na gansuwa na. Magbundaya na na siya. Pero kung kalayo, guro kang do nubo-nubo pa siya, i-akapan niya na. Station bill, station bill, kapag mo. Ara da ang Paris ding isir. No, no, mo nasa kalayo. Sold. Te, station bill ka pa. But the station bill, ah, is very important. It serves as our guide. I am not degrading the station bill. But it might, it's very, very helpful. Ah, it is written by the wisest men for us to be safe. And as a fire class, the more you learn the nature of fire, because it is consists of three elements. The that's what we call the fire triangle: the fuel, heat, and oxygen. What is fuel? If I will to be defined fuel, the fuel is anything that can be burned. They are not limited to crude oil products, ah, diesel. Uh, gasoline, kerosene, mga high octane na, of course they have fuel, and they are burning also. But they are not limited to those crude oil. It could be uh, wood, it could be used as a fuel. Paper. Okay, sa mga steam engine class, during the time of the mga Titanic steam engine na to, mineral coal ginakarga nila to, o fuel, ang muna pinaka-fuel niya. Para pala sila to kagi kaga para ma may revolution tapos magtiyog ang shop amo na siya during the time ang mga machinery mga daan ang mga machinery so the fire is consists of three elements which namely fuel heat and oxygen what is fuel fuel is anything that can be burned ang tanan nga mga bagay pwede masunog di ba magsiling mo anything that can be burned So, ang tangan ni nga bagay na sa masarangan sa masunog, it could be a fuel. Ang masarangan na masunog, ha, ba, it's also a thing, pero hindi man dali-dali masunog. Kasi ni, for example, uh, mga salsalon. Salsalon, man dali-dali masunog. Jesus, Diyos ko. You will be achieving a thousand degrees Celsius before you can melt that steel. Uh, fuel, heat, oh, in it. So, ang fire, may certain degree of heat siya in order to produce a fire. So, as in the oxygen, ang ox normal oxygen level, which is breathable sa tao, and also sa mga sapat, sa mga living organism, is 21% oxygen. Anything lower than that, that is toxic. Toxic, anything lower than that, pati yung otot mo, Mas may entrahan ng oxygen sa ang oxygen na ginabreed sa any harmful substances nga mag siya maskin half a percentage lang that would be fatal to human lives and yes that is oxygen no? and there are ways how to combat this fire so since we already know the three elements of fire there are ways so if we go in the direction of removing the heat in order to eliminate the fire, it could be. And you call that cooling. The best cooling agent is water. Mm. 
Wipe ako yung hat, pero kakulang ako. And smothering. Fuel naman. If you will be removing the fuel, it is called the starvation. Removal of the fuel. No? May gakalayo na. Gakalayo ang papel. Kinuha mo lang papel. Oh. After na wala ng papel, or after wala ng kahoy, the fire will no longer exist, but it will extinguish. Amo na isang mga approach. Oxygen. No? If your approach is uh, to eliminate the oxygen, that is what we call decontamination of oxygen. Ang approach ni is CO2. Uh, that is very dangerous. When the CO2 alarm, all crew in that area must evacuate. Ma-alarm nila siya. Pag-alarm ng CO2, i-announce na siya nga ma-release ang CO2. Ang mga crew nga arad na sa area, mas evacuate gid. For example, nasunog ang engine room. Engine room fire. Uh, the firefighters was already having trouble in eradicating the, that fire, in extinguishing that fire. So, the master of the vessel, to, along with the chief engineer, has decided to release the CO2. There will be an alarm that is heard, and then a verbal announcement. This is your master speaking, this is your master speaking. All person within the vicinity of the engine room, uh, you must evacuate because he, he will set a time. He will set a time. Within five minutes, we will release the CO2 to extinguish the fire. He will repeat that several times to make sure that the crew uh, is that the crew will be given an ample time to evacuate the area, and that is the reason. That is the main reason why he will be repeating and repeating that again. Okay, so again, the removal, the con air contamination is through CO2, and this is very dangerous also. And I would like also to go dig in deeper to the types of fire extinguisher in fighting the fire. All our extinguisher are clearly labeled with the instruction and how the manner it is to be used and its application. It could be A, B, C, D. Wala mo kung fire extinguisher nga nakita nga A, B, C, D kuha etalan. But it is how on your approach, huh? the manner of your approach. Uh, if the fire extinguisher is labeled A, so it's just only for physical fire. Kasunog ang mga kahoy, kasunog ang mga papel, kasunog ang mga plastic, kasunog ang mga clothing, physical fire. If it is labeled as B, it is a liquid fire. So, mga fuel ni, mga oil, uh, diesel, crude oil products, amun siyang liquid fire ginagamit. Uh, smoothie ring ni siya ang foam ang ginagamit na Pag uh, activate na siyang fire extinguisher, may foam na sila yung bubbles, thick bubbles to cover the whole surface. So, to eliminate the oxygen. So, wala na oxygen, you can also eliminate the fire. And C, which is CO2, it is electrical, for electrical fire. And D, delta, is for burning metals. And ang iya nga content is dry powder, burning metals. But all these types of fire extinguisher can be used also in each and every classification of fire. For example, now I will give you a very good example for this. Can you use type A class fire extinguisher for a burning television? Because this type A fire extinguisher is water in content. Okay, for, this is intended for physical, uh, physical fires. So, you can use this still. Although the fire, the cause of the fire is electrical. Just shut off the electrical power. And then you can use the type A fire extinguisher. 
Eh, hindi tayo lang kami ba? Hindi tayo lang uh, common sense. O, type B fire. Can you use the type A, uh, the type B, category B, which is the dry chemical liquid fire. Can you use that? So physical? Of course, it can be. Mas manami na siya kaya ang, kaya ang dry chemical, hindi yan basa. Do powder lang na nag- scattered seria so ang CO2 is which is electrical uh, ano ni siya it eliminate the oxygen and the burning metal is dry powder dry powder kasi nagamit ng mga burning metals metallic element and let's go to i have prepared five types of emergency but this five emergency does not mean na amo lang ng emergency sa barko ha Ha? Huh? It could be more. I believe more. It does not limit to this. Damo pa. Okay? But these are the most common. After fire, I will proceed to abandon ship. The abandon ship drill. Kari na, malumpat na sa barko. Sino man gusto maglumpat sa barko man? You have to abandon the ship. There are many reasons why we should be abandoning our ship. First, the water ingress, which is beyond the capacity of the vessel to pump out the water, and the hull integrity, and another again, water ingress again. My God, this is the as much as possible. If your vessel is still fighting and refuses to give up, It is better to stay in the ship because the best lifeboat is your ship. You must understand that. Kagamayan lang yan sa yung lifeboat, anon mo na. Kagamayan lang yan sa life raft. Your best lifeboat is your ship. Okay, abandon ship when you heard the alarm for the abandon ship, the general alarm is being employed. The show the general alarm is composed of seven short and one long blast. Okay? And followed by the verbal announcement. This general alarm, that's why it is labeled as general alarm. It is because it can be employed in any different emergency, shipboard emergency. Huh? The general alarm is not limited to the abandoned ship alone. As long as it is followed by the verbal command of the master of the vessel. For example, the crew is inside in his cabin and resting. And he heard, Amulang to na batihan niya mo. Tatlo lang ka short kag one log eh. Bago lang sa murag muragan. And that is the reason why to abu. So as to avoid confusion that The verbal announcement of the master is so important. He must deliver that loud and clear, precise, in a authoritative manner. He must eliminate fear in his announcement. Alaw, ay man ego. Bawit ko, bawit si ganyo na, malunod ang barko, bawit si ko, bawit 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 ko, b din makuha sa strength ang imong uh, subordinate kung ang leader patanga-tanga at turingan ka ang leader patanga-tanga ka pa nervyoso of course all person no all living person may nervyos gina but let us not be overwhelmed sino sa inyo wala nervyos ang wala ka nervyos i don't know ba si robot na hmm It is good being nervous, but just only a little bit. Because when you felt that you are being, that you, when you felt nervous, so it creates a what do you call an idea of being an extra careful, maging halong ka. Ano kung baan ko si niyao? Ano yung muon ko nga mo niyao mo niyao? You 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 are taking extra precautionary measure, ah? But that naman, that, uh, the kind of nervousness that you are truly overwhelmed, that you are no longer, you are losing the capacity to think, 
to think correctly, precisely, and comprehensively. That is bad. I will continue to abandon ship. He will be announcing that attention all crew, attention all crew, this is your master speaking, this is your master speaking. Please proceed to your master station and prepare the lifeboat for abandoned ship. My God. So at least an announcement ka firm and di mo masiling uh, relax. At least na no to man, ikaw nga kuro naman do, makakuan ka man do, you still have the confidence. Because you can feel that leadership is still there. You can still that the, your leader, your captain or your master, is still capable of leading his men into safety. Correct? Let's go to man overboard. Wow, oh, just worry naman. Mga patanga-tanga. Sa example ko ni, sa previous video ko that I have on board, when I was on board, I was working very close to the Peter, but we are not working the same job. He's working his job, and I am also working his job. When he is about to throw the garbage, which is not supposed to be, eh, the vessel was heavily rolling, so the momentum was pushing him to the starboard side of the vessel, plus the gravity, eh, a force that pulls you down. So, what to? Pag aboy sa basura, pulo sa basura. May ibang basura, kaya nakita ko ang kadakos ang basura, garbage bag, doon mo pa niyo. Kadakos-dakos ang inaboy, ha? Tapos siya, sa nalagdag, makita mo doon, gamay ba sa bulas ang basketball? Class, it is very, very difficult to identify the man overboard. It is very, very difficult and it is very difficult to establish eye contact. Because the only thing which is not submerged for the human body is the head. Mula niyo? Mula niyo makita mo? Ang iyakamot? Ang gamuha mo na o? May pang aning basura kaya pag habos yung basura makita ko, bilog niya ka na ko dako. Mula niyo? Ang muna yung nakita ko. So that was the basis of my position. The basis of my position was... was the garbage bag, okay? The garbage bag was the basis of my position. So, we were able to do the turn to rescue him. And thank God, we were able to bring him back on board again. And after that, oil spill. My God. May pangadlawa ng istorya sa oil spill, di When I was still a cadet, usually I am working with those Russian No, yung mga ruso niya, yung mga tanga mo. Pero bilang, I know, I know, I know. Hindi kaya ang tanker to, ha, kuwan, na nag-transfer some fuel sa mo ni Pinoy, natakaan ko lang, Chip Engineer, yo, wait, Chip, where is the... Nung ginapangita, ito nga papilis to. Kumpila nang nakarga, bla. Ang kalkulay, Chip, where is your calculation? Yo, wait, what's up, Diyos ko? At then, nung din, nagdun na muna balang, hindi kali sa kabalong mag-calculate. Yung pila na katuloy na adan na transfer. Huwag ko gagugid. So, the Filipino captain decided to increase the pressure. So, what happened? Because our ship is already maybe 30 years old, grabe. 1972 model. Huwag po kung natawa, may barko, barko na siya. My God. And so that happens, no? Uh, we experience oil spill. Allah, map the rim, map dito. Grabe, doon ang swimming pool, ang barko sa bunker. Ito na sa the bunker oil class. The physical appearance of bunker is, number one, its color is black. And heavier than diesel. The bunker fuel is used in the main engine. Sometimes in your auxiliary engine to produce electricity, power on board the ship. Kung mangaroon, mangaroon ang imong uh, owner sa barko, they will not allow you to use bunker for your auxiliary engine. They will allow you to use diesel. Much more cleaner to burn. So, ang muna no, sa oil spill, uh, during the time, why makamimina lungkong sila, during the time, why paman, 
Pwede pa na yung mga supip, supip na yan. Ah, uh, what is supip? Supip is Shipboard Oil Pollution Emergency Planning. So, during that time, during that time sa nasakay, kung putang supip, why pa to yan? Why pa niya na batang? <laughs> My God. But now, later on, uh, this supip, amun siya ang nag, uh, isa isa sa supip box, tapos may mga guidelines, Uh, which is outside the station bill. May guidelines yang iya yang uh, oil pollution, oil spill. May guidelines yang iya. Not, uh, it is under, but uh, well detailed na siya compared sa oil spill emergency yang arad na sa station bill nyo. Well detailed, yung may mga isa ka box labeled na sopip equipment, arad ang sodas. <coughs> mga oil equipment, which is design for oil spill mga boom na hindi mag-spread out ang oil sa water plus chemicals chemicals class <coughs> na mag-dilute sang oil to lessen the viscosity of the oil tapos malugdang sa wala na nang inaallowed sa chemicals and after this class the so if we have machinery steering gear failure as the last one Last one, isang gin-prepare ko. Most common, kagamulang na yung kwan. Ang gusto ko i-deliver. But this is not limited to the support emergency. Damo pa. If, if you want to research, good. More knowledge, more body knowledge you have gained. That is very good. Ang machinery steering gear, gear failure. <coughs> In Amla class that the vessel is losing the capacity to steer herself. The rudder of the vessel is meant for steering the vessel whether to turn to the port or to turn to, to the starboard side. It is the smallest part of the ship, but it makes the whole ship turn to whatever direction. Okay? You can turn right, you can turn left. Gamayan is but it, it, it is the... Uh, Amun siya klas ang yung tawag nga siya ni sa ang parts ng vessel that siyang kapaliko, siyang nag-atag direction ang rudder. <clears throat> Now, kung mag-steering casualty, we have an emergency motor. It is because that pilagro katuloy na adang bugat siya. So, it is quite not possible to do it by hand. Manually, mechanically. Ano ka si San Goku, si Superman? Pero, teh, nakabuat-buat man ang maanong mga rupatiyog. <coughs> okay lang kung, kung, kung ang barko mo, para si Magilan, itong mga dilayag. Kaysa layag sila yung nagapatiyog. No? Pwede, uh, they, can, they can steer the vessel through their sail. Pwede nila yung ma-steer vessel sa sail. May way labot nga may kwan sila, may rudder, pwede nilang ma-steer sa ano lang, kilang alayag. <coughs> so, it's up for now and after this video, I will post it in your GC. For example, uh, additional video which I will be posting for fire. I will be sending a video, a fire drill or or shipboard fire on how they combat fire okay the attacking party and the cooling part <coughs> boundary cooling party so as also the abandoned ship i will be sending that to the gc and the man overboard on how they maneuver the vessel to pick up the victim the oil spill and as well as the steering gear failure okay class this is all for today May God bless you and good luck. I hope you learned something. Continue to update your GC. Okay? And prepare for the question and answer. Thank you.